Hi Cancer, welcome to your Spirit Guide messages for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, how to book them, um, decks I'm using, social media. There's tons of stuff down there, so please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. And thank you to everybody for all your support, whether you've blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel. Thank you so much. Uh, new subscribers, thank you. And those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you, thank you. Thank you to everybody for believing in the channel and the energy and helping me getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. And for all your support, really does mean a lot to me. I couldn't do it without you guys. And thank you so much for being a part of the channel's growth and this community. So thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so let's see what we have for cancer. This can be for November or whenever you see this on... Um, if you feel some of it doesn't resonate for you right now, you could come back and watch it in a few months or whenever. I do consider the readings timeless, even though I do have a date on them. That's just for uh, in the order in which they are released. So uh, all the readings on my channel, I do consider timeless. So happy fall, happy November. Hope everybody's doing well. Okay, Cancer, water sign Cancer. What do we have for Cancer for the month of November or whenever you see this? Whenever it resonates for you, what are the messages? What does Spirit want you to know at this time? All right, one more shuffle. That's my sign. One more shuffle. There we go. All right, Cancer. All right, well, <laughs> I'll reveal the cards after. I'm going to pull, um, oh, there we go, three from each deck. And then we'll go over the cards. I'll pull some tarot on top of it to sort of clarify um, all your messages. So, all the decks have been pre-shuffle cut meditated on off camera. A little more shuffling for fresh energy. All right, let's do one more. What are the messages for Cancer? Spirit, what are the spirit messages for Cancer, please? Can we have three cards for Cancer? Two more for ooh, Cancer. One more. One more for Cancer, please. That's way too many, <laughs> way too many, and I'm feeling this one right here. All right, let's get three of these, three of these babies on there. Cancer, Cancer, what do we have for Cancer Spirit? What do they need to know? What do you want to tell Cancer at this time, Spirit? What are the messages for Cancer, please, Spirit? Thank you so much. Messages for Cancer. Three messages for Cancer, please. One, two, one more, one more, one more for Cancer, please. Thank you so much. I feel like there's going to be a jumper. I feel like there's going to be a jumper. No, okay, we'll take that one. All right, Let's see what we got. What do we have for Cancer at this time? Okay, this is the Unicorn Oracle. Believe in yourself, see yourself doing well, and you will. So whatever you're doing here, whatever you're trying to manifest, whatever new beginning you're trying to uh, go for, or if you're having self-fear, self-doubt, you're in a negative mindset right now, Spirit wants you to know it's time to believe in yourself, believe that you can do it, believe that you will, believe that you will succeed, see yourself doing well, and you will. It's all being in that high vibration and that positive mindset of seeing yourself where you want to be, what you want to be doing, being in that energy, and that energy will come back to you. And then you have relax, everything's okay, don't worry, it's all going to be fine. So it's telling you here to believe in yourself, just to relax, being in that positive energy mindset, and that high vibration, and everything's going to be all right. So Spare wants you to know not to worry if it's whatever situation um, you're worried about right now, if it's friends, family, work, money, whatever, if you're in a situation, whatever your situation is right now, only you know what that is. For some of you, it could be money, it could be job, it could be career, it could be family, friend issues, it could be starting something new, whether it's love, uh, a job or whatever. If you're not seeing the big picture, if you're not seeing a positive outcome right now, things don't look so good, but it's just telling you here to believe in yourself. Everything will go well and not to worry that everything will be fine. 
It may not mean tomorrow. It may not be next month. It may be in a year from now. But it will be okay. Happy surprise. Something very good is about to happen. Oh, some of you could be getting an unexpected surprise of some kind coming up in the near future. Some of you, it could be if you've been trying to have a baby, you may become pregnant or you may become grandparents, aunts, uncles, or something like that because you do see a child there. So if some of you have been trying to have a baby, I think you're going to get a happy surprise. All right, so let's see what else do we have here. Cuckatoo Illumination, which is 10. Tens are about endings, but then one is a new beginning. So something's going to be illuminated to you um, coming up here in the month of November. Something will be illuminated to you. Whether I don't know what that will be, but I might read a little bit out of the book for that uh, one here. Okay, I'm not doing reversals with this. So we have... Okay, Deception, Owl, Four, which is about stability, basis, foundation of something. So, I know it's right under the Don't Worry card. So, if you feel like someone's been deceiving you or something like that, or maybe it's something that you, you think but you don't know, I think maybe you're worrying about it too much, or maybe you're overthinking it too much, or maybe it's something that you don't even know all the facts about. And that could be the illumination here. You know, maybe you need to know all the facts first, find out more information about a situation before you go and jump to conclusions of deception or something like that. So what else do we have here? Woman's Wisdom, Platypus, 24, 6. 6 is a very healing, balancing number. So it may be time uh, to seek out some wisdom from um, a wise advisor. You know, maybe your mother, your sister, a very wise uh, friend. It does say women, woman. So whether you're a man or a woman watching this, it could be, um, or someone with very feminine energy around you, who's very smart and wise, someone you go to for advice. So, or you may even know a woman's wisdom here that you feel it in your body. Like, you know what? I think I might be pregnant. And that's going to be that happy surprise. <laughs> a woman doesn't know, no one knows a her own body like a woman. So if you got that inner wisdom, that inner feeling like, I think I'm pregnant, I think I'm pregnant, and then you go and surprise, you are, and you've been trying for a very long time, that could be the surprise, that could be relaxed, everything's going to be okay. Believe in yourself that you can have this, what you want, and uh, you get that happy surprise there. Or for some of you, it could be seeking out um, advice and wisdom for, from somebody very wise that you go to advice go to for advice you haven't in a long time and you've been thinking about it like well i haven't been in contact with them for a very long time i don't know if i should reach out uh it may not be the right thing to do um the spirit wants you to know go ahead and reach out i think this person will be open and receptive to you to help you you know and you could you know go out and have a good time with this person and get some advice and some wisdom from this person all right so let's see what else do we have here we have health again could be the happy surprise here with your health. Eight. Eight is about travel, action, movement, communication. So you could be going for a visit saying, you know, you know, I think I might be pregnant, you know, and a health visit, and then you get that happy surprise. So something with your health here will be illuminated to you. Wow. Okay. Environment. So 44, again, with stability, basis, foundation. Um, again, together, eight is... Uh, communication, travel. So something with your environment here. I don't know. It could be some something in your environment that you're worried about. You may think somebody's deceiving you. Green here to me is always like monetary. So it could be some something in your work environment where you feel like someone's deceiving you. But you may be overblowing the whole thing. It may not be what you think it is. So find out facts before you jump to conclusions is what I'm getting with that. All right, so let's see what else do we have here. Karmic completion. So 10, 10 is an ending, 1 is a new beginning. So this could be the completion of, some of you it could be a completion of a relationship, a karmic completion. Some of you it could be just this karmic circle of going around and around and trying to conceive and you can't and you can't and you can't. 
and now it's the end of that going in circles and now it's the new beginning of uh, this happy surprise coming into you and some of you it could be a child Wow so we're going to clarify I'm going to read uh, this little bit this is the animal dreaming so I just want to read um, number 10 here um, let's see you are being primed for clarity to dawn in relation to one or more aspects of your life and for stability to once again reign supreme. Uh, illumination when truths will be revealed exactly, uh, when energy will flow more easily and obstacles will begin to dissipate. So I do feel like if there was something deceptive in your work environment or something like that, I feel like all will be resolved. Maybe it's not as bad as you think. Uh, and I think everything will be fine. So let's see what four has to say. Uh, let's see. Let's see. You are being cautioned that you are perhaps being deceived by the apparently innocent motives of others. Owl's appearance may be a warning that you need to quickly ascertain the integrity hidden behind these motives to determine how they may affect or influence your view of the world. Um, let's see. So yeah, I just feel like um, the owl warns us not to assume that all is well all of the time. People in situations we trust may not be completely trustworthy, but owl has the ability to see what others may miss. The gift of this dreaming is to be undeceived by external appearances and to discover the truth behind them. So whatever deception or you feel deception is going on here, you just need to have things illuminated to you, I feel. Find out all the facts. And I think it's in, I feel like this is in your work environment right here. But I think everything will be okay uh, here also. And if some of you, if you're trying to accomplish something, you know, just believe in yourself. If you're having um, like those doubts, fears, or negative thinking, it's time to get out of that mindset and just believe in yourself. Some of you, I feel, could be ending a, a karmic relationship, people, places, things, lovers, whatever, or it's the end of the cycle of trying to conceive and all of a sudden, boom, you get that happy surprise. And it's like you know internally with that woman's wisdom, you know, you feel it. Like, I think this is it. And then you go for this health visit and boom, you know, you get that happy surprise also. I want to make sure you can see all these cards. All right. So, okay. Okay, Cancer. Let's do some clarification here for you, Cancer. Let's do some clarification. The tarot, the cancer. One more shuffle. Okay. All right. So, why is believe in yourself here? What is that about? Way too many. Wait, yeah, so we have, actually we got two here. So we have the Page of Wands and we have the Six of Wands. So the Page of Wands is about good news coming in, messages, communication. We got the Six of Wands, which is success and victory, accomplishment. So believe in yourself. You can be victorious, successful. And some sort of good news coming in, which may lead to the success and victory, which will help you to believe in yourself, to believe in whatever this is that you're trying to accomplish. Very fiery, passionate, exciting, good news. Could be about, you know, wands or about creative um, ideas, entrepreneurship, that kind of energy. Could be a relationship also, could be anything. So what is this illumination about for, for cancer? Page of Swords. So, yeah, so if someone might have did something like foolish and reckless. This is an energy with this page energy of rushing in, being reckless, being uh, foolish, um, 
kind of energy, but it's also swords about truth, com communication, clarity. So I feel like something will be illuminated to you as to why somebody kind of did something maybe off kilter that wasn't really something they would normally do. And maybe they were just having a bad day and they did something foolish and reckless. reckless and you're like, why did this person do this? And I think something will be illuminated to you here by either doing research, if that makes sense, or finding out, you know, illumination, finding out the facts, you know, swords are about clarity and communication. So clarity, communication, research, whatever here will bring this illumination to light of why this person did this reckless, um, foolish thing. And it may have you may have felt it deceived you in some way. It was kind of deceptive. I don't know why. And I'm getting around your work environment, but we'll see. So what is this health about? What is this health about the fool? So leap of faith here, brand new start. Resetting at zero, taking a leap of faith, brand new beginning. So it could be a brand new beginning, starting a family here. You know, zero, you know, not having it. Any children, you know, maybe you're in a relationship, there's no children, but now you have this good news coming in. This fool can be about your new start, leap of faith, good news, which enables you to have a message, which enables you to have this fresh new start, going from zero to having this happy surprise with this child here. So let's see, because you see the sun illuminated, and the sun is all about happiness, joy, family, children. Growth, abundance, success, victory, um, enlightenment, happiness, and joy. Everything positive with the sun. The sun is shining. So what is this? Relax, everything is okay. So we got the five of cups here, which can talk about sadness, loss, sorrow. So if you're feeling that energy of feeling like depressed, sad, lonely, sorrow, and you, you're finding it hard to get out of that energy, Spirit wants you to know is you need to get out of that energy and just relax because in the long run, things will be fine. You're not seeing things will be fine, but you got two cups behind you here that are full of love, emotion, feelings, support, energy, you know, good news behind you. There's still two cups behind you that you're not seeing because you're too concentrated on uh, things that aren't working for you right now. Okay, so... What is this deception about for cancer? What is this deception about for cancer? So we got the four of wands here. So if it's not about your, so we got four, 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 four. So if it's not about work, it could be about your home life, something in your home life. But four of wands here is about ceremony, celebrations, uh, or something like that. Maybe there was something where, you know, a group of you went out from work uh, to have a, celebrate to have a good time and something happened something bad happened i don't know maybe there was a fight argument somebody got drunk did something stupid or something like that and maybe it was with a group of friends from work this is a card of ceremonies celebrations and that kind of energy i don't know usually that's about home life uh commitment so but it could be you just were out celebrating having a good time maybe it was some kind of ceremony or celebration and something something not so great happened so what is this environment yeah the six of cups so this is uh could be something people from your past maybe you've been at this job or something or it could be lifelong friends here maybe you've been at this job since you were very young a very very long time and uh, you feel like these people around you are your friends your family your tribe six of cups energy there all right, so let's see what this happy surprise is about. Let's see what this happy surprise is about. Wow. So I just had cards fall on the floor. Ugh. So we have the seven of pentacles. So this is an energy of like trying to invest, invest, but you're patiently waiting and waiting. So yeah, I feel like you know, it like you've been trying and trying to conceive for some of you and it hasn't been happening. You've been waiting and waiting and waiting and trying and trying, being patient. But then all of a sudden, boom, Spirit wants you to know you're going to get a happy surprise for some of you. And if it's not yourself, it could be a friend, a good friend that maybe, you know, they tell you, guess what, you know, or a you know, family member or even grandkids. 
All right, so what is this woman's wisdom about? Oh, I didn't read that one. Okay, let's read this woman's wisdom. Okay. You are being prepared to realize, understand, and embrace the potency of your own intuition, higher levels of knowing exactly. Um, you are being urged to trust your own judgment, direction, and endurance. This is the wisdom of all women, the ability to trust in their intuition and to consciously act with purpose. Women are natural dreamers, visionaries, and mystics, but they must embrace their masculine aspects in order to realize the full potential of these gifts. So I think this is trusting and knowing. I think you're just going to know if you've been trying to conceive that boom. Okay, this is it. I think it's time. And that happy surprise comes. Also, again, trusting your gut, your intuition, your wisdom from within. Yeah, page of cups. And there's the message coming in. This is about children, love, emotions. Um, pages are, can be young energy. And this often speaks of pregnancy. So, yeah. So, <laughs> it's like you're going to know. You're internally going to know. Like, you're going to get that internal message from divine source in your own body and your intuition. Like, I think there's a fish in my cup. I think there's a bun in the oven. Yep. I think just internally going to know. You've been waiting and trying and trying here. Over here. And boop. Here comes a happy surprise. May not be this month. It could be... Uh, in the upcoming months, it could be, you know, within the, by the end of the year. All right. So what is this karmic completion? I don't feel comfortable taking that. What is this karmic completion about? What is this karmic completion about? For cancer. All right. So we have... So we do have the Knight of Wands in the Tower. So I feel some of you, the Tower is about a breakdown, shake-up. And it can be a surprise. It can be a good surprise, bad surprise. A breakdown, shake-up, argument, fight. Something comes crumbling, crumbling down. It can be a variety of things. But the Knight of Wands here moves forward a lot of passion, drive, and ambition. And it can be a player energy. So I feel like some of you could be ending a player-type energy uh, relationship. Like you're just done. And you just have this realization tower moment and you confront this person and say, look, I'm tired of this in and out energy. I'm tired of this player energy and it's time to complete this cycle. I'm done with this cycle. So that could be for some of you. For some of you, this could be the surprise coming in of finally receiving word that you finally, you've been, Knight of Wands, very phallic, very active sexual energy. So it's like you've been trying and trying and trying, you know, been trying and trying and all of a sudden, boom, now it's the completion of trying because now it's actually happening for some of you. So different messages there. So um, you take what resonates. So let, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for you. Cancer, Cancer, if you do like my energy and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, you get four readings a month. You'll get a spirit messages, what you need to know at this time. You'll get a singles reading who's coming toward you. If you are single, if you have a connection with somebody, I do a love connection reading. And a I do a general tarot forecast also, which is sort of like a general reading. So if you're interested in all that, please do subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out. And if you do, thank you. So let's see what's on the bottom. Oh, Ace of Swords. So some sort of truth and clarity coming to you in a brand new beginning based on truth, clarity. So some sort of truth and clarity will be coming to you and uh, coming up here. Could be about this deceptive energy, seeing the truth and clarity of the situation, getting truth and clarity if you're expecting. Uh, if you're going in a new business adventure or something that you're not seeing is coming into fruition, you're going to get some sort of good news and clarity that will bring you success. So there's a lot of different things here. New beginning here, truth, clarity, new beginning here. Nine of Swords. So again, no more stress and anxiety. No more. Because you've got the Nine and the Ace, which is Ten. And Ten is a completion. It's done. It's over. It's the end. No more stress, anxiety, and worry over any of these situations, whatever resonates for you. Because brand new beginning in love, divinely guided. This could be the new addition to a family. This could be ending a karmic relationship that was just a player energy coming in and out. Ending that energy and maybe now this person committed, committing to you in this brand new cup of love or spirit wants you to know that you will have a divinely guided soulmate that will come into you into the future. This is also 
could be um, peaceful resolutions, apologies, you know, uh, reuniting, coming back together, forgiving this other energy around you. Whatever it is here, <coughs> sorry, and I just had to take a drink while <laughs> this card came out. So there is divinely guided peace, love, apologies, uh, brand new beginnings, children. It's all here, whatever resonates for you. And Queen of Cups energy, that's your energy. Being in your power, being um, loving, caring, giving, nurturing, uh, peaceful, listening to your intuition. Some of you, again, ending some things that are no longer serving you and waiting for something better to come in for you. And ending those cycles no longer serving you, starting new cycles in life. Yep. Waiting, and some of you I feel have been waiting, have been waiting, and now the world can speak of children, it can speak of growth, expansion, ending cycles, new cycles, travel, whatever resonates for you, waiting for that, and it coming in, starting this new cycle. Some ending things no longer serving you, being in your power, for brand new beginnings here, ending the stress and worry and having the mental clarity to end that energy. Wow, a lot of messages here for you, Cancer. A lot of messages. So take what resonates, throw away what doesn't, and I hope this did resonate for you. Good luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.